Right folks, I've just arrived at the turning for the Blue Ball Inn at Triscombe on my new adventure today. I've never got off the bus here before. Mine off the mine head bus. And I've got here early to give me two extra hours. If, if not three extra hours to do this walk I want to do today. So this route, this road here leads me to Triscombe. And uh, a couple of months ago, I visited West Bagra and did a walk. And I did a walk um, to Triscombe from, from West Bagra Church. And I also visited the Blue Ball Inn, but it was closed and all shut up today I'm walking along this road for a while it's quite a big road actually and then when I get to Triscombe past the Blue Ball Inn I'm going to walk up the road past Triscombe Quarry which I've mentioned in other videos before and I've actually done that part of that route before in the past um, what I remember it's not as steep as Crocom Hill or steep as Stout Lane at West Bagra. It's a bit more of a... It's, it's just not quite as steep, but you know, you still got to go up. But anyway, so I'm leaving that area. In guess what day it is today? Pinch punch the first of the month of no return. It's June the 1st, 2024. Now, do you know what? Even though I'm walking on this road, I can feel we're going up. It's a strange pull on you. Yeah, it's a strange pull. Now, it is quite fresh. The weather is quite fresh, but it's supposed to get up to 20 degrees later. Um, there's a massive great big mansion over there, which I might not have noticed before. Because when I came from West Bagborough, I was um, shielded by trees a lot on the Greenway, it was called. I wanted to do that walk. That was my first visit to the Quantox this year, was the West Bagborough hike along the Greenway to Crocombe and then Little Quantock. To, uh, no, to Triscombe, then Little Quantock, then Crocombe where I picked the bus up. Now today is an unknown quantity. I'm assessing how long it takes me. I can get the bus back there and that later if I need to. Um, once again, when you rely on public transport, you, your walk is dictated to, really. In a minute, I won't talk about it anymore, but I'm going to decide how long it takes me to go up here. Right? Because it's quite likely I might have to catch the bus back there later. It's an unknown walk because I've not done this part before. And when I get up to Triscombe Stone, although I've done what's called Will's Neck, where the trick point is in the past several times, and I've walked to West Bagborough from Triscombe Stone, um, today I'll be... Um, Crossing over, I'll be going to Triscombe Stone, then walking, skirting what's called Great Wood. Now that big hill ahead there, that's what that's one of the big marrows. It could be called Greater Marrow or something like that. And there's a lesser marrow. And I've done those before several times. So there are familiar features for me, but I've not walked. Where I'm going today, I've never walked from Triscombe Stone to Ashholt Church of All Saints. This will be a new experience. We'll just have a look over here, see if we can do some views. Wow, pretty good. Like I said, I've not done this before. I've, it always seems to take longer 
the very first time you do a walk. And it's, it is, the wind is windy, but I'll be sheltered in the wood. I'll be sheltered in the wood. Right, I'm going to turn off for a little while now, folks. So we've just come along that lovely road from the main road, the Minehead Taunton Road down there. And we're just trying to see roughly how, I've not got my mobile out, but roughly how long it takes to walk to the Blue Ball Inn. I imagine that's the gateway to the Triscombe Nurseries. There's a big, big mansion over there. I'll just zoom in and take a picture of it. The sun's right in the way, so I don't know if I'll get a very good picture. All right, over and out for now, but it's over there. All right, here's another video. Sheila on the 1st of June, 2024. I'm at Triscombe now. And this is what's called the Barns and the Blue Ball Inn. Thatch places that need repair. I don't know if they're ever opening them. I expect I've got to wait for somebody to buy it, haven't they? Got to wait for someone to buy it. It's all derelict at the moment. Well, not derelict. It's, um, it was open, I think, a year or so ago when I came by. That's still there. Um, yeah, they've put more coverings over the thatch. I've just got to remember which way to go. I think, I don't know if it's there or not. Um, I think it's up there I go. Do you? Yeah. I think so. So here it is, they've put, yeah, they've put a lot more coverings on it. I'll just take some pictures. Yeah, I don't think it's up there I go. Let's have a look. No, that's just a parking area for the pub. We just keep an eye on its progress as I, with each visit. I mean, I might not come out here again for another year, this area, see? Might not come over here for another. But I just attach a few photos for this particular video. Okay, so I don't know if anyone's living in there. So, yeah, just for a record, really, I've done that. Just for a record, there could be somebody living in there still. Now oh, that's it, yeah. Let's take one from there and the sign. Right, over and out for a minute. Back on briefly, I've just taken some photos of the cottage there. Also, since my last visit, about two months ago, maybe someone saw the video I put on YouTube, but covered up and protected. So they cost a bit to put those covers on there, but it cost a lot more if they didn't. Right, we're going up the quarry road now. Now, when I did it before, I actually was up there. I'd come down along the greenway and I'd cut through along the top there and then joined this path further up. So this is um, a route up to the quarry and Triscombe Stone, I hope. 
is it says to the plains. Well, the plains is as, of as, asphalt or ash holt. I don't know how you pronounce it. Yeah, I was up right up there, already up high walking, and then eventually I came down onto this route. I think. I don't really know. But it's all uphill for a minute. All uphill. Hello big tree. Hello big oak. You haven't no, you haven't seen me pass you before. Not here. And you're right next door to a very healthy looking ash, aren't you? Mates. And then you've got the elm. Elm, oak and ash together. Surviving out here in a non-polluted area. Yeah, Triscum Quarry. Let me just speak about it a bit. Triscum Quarry. Some of the quarried stone from there in the past was used to do one of the runways at Heathrow Airport. So a little bit of Somerset is up there. Now I'm going uphill. I'm not. I'm going to be doing shorter videos when I'm going uphill. Okay, so I'm going to turn off already, but I'll join it up with the other one. So this is Sheila, 1st of June, 2024. Pinch punch the first of the month and no return.